Don't mind Gilbert. He's just going to be watching. Watching. Judging. I don't make me self-conscious now. <laughs> don't turn him around. There That's we go. just mean. Sorry, buddy. It's your fault. <laughs> Frankie, we're checking out the Best Tech Beluga. Yes. We've had this one for a few months now, actually. Mm -hmm. And every time I see it, I want to sing the Beluga song. Which I have no idea. And Everybody knows it. Baby Beluga in the deep blue sea. Swim so wild and you swim so free. Are you Come on! <laughs> Everybody knows it! Just uh, <laughs> oh, over my head. Yeah, I missed Fine, that one. whatever. Anyway, here's the Beluga. It's a Best Tech knife, part of their budget side of things, and it's a smaller knife. Yeah, it is. Which, real quick, I want to say this. Um, shout out to Best Tech for actually making smaller knives. True. They make some Frankie-sized knives. They make some Frankie-sized knives. They make some miniature knives. Mm-hmm. Okay, nobody else besides We Knives made more models in 2018. True. Except they actually made a big variety of sizes. Yeah, they did. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of a small, medium size. Check it out. It is actually a three-inch blade, I believe, I believe is what it comes in at. Yeah. There you go. And then overall, just under seven and a half inches. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. What? I'm just saying, anything over seven is good. Okay. We don't. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna have to edit that. <laughs> oh, you're showing what you finally figured out. And here? and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> now, Frankie pointed this out earlier. The the pivot is actually a B. Well, I kind of assumed that it was supposed to be a B for best tech. B for best tech, and in this case, Beluga. And yeah. bargain. But nobody's going to like it because it's proprietary, Frankie. That is true. You have to have a special... Oh, wait. You don't have to have a special tool. Torx. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about this knife. <laughs> okay. Price. Should we get that out of the way? $52. $52, which is kind of uh, right there in the range of a lot of their knives, really. Yeah. We, we've got a few other ones out that we'll talk about. But mm -hmm. yeah, $52. Kind of the budget end of things that they do. And budget materials. We're talking G10. Yes. And we're talking... Where's the blade? A steel? crazy steel. Yeah, Frankie, this is 12C27. This is a Swedish steel. It is a Swedish beluga, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, it's the Swedish Swedish veil steel. <laughs> we don't actually know a ton about this steel, as in we don't have a ton of experience with it. Um, I can't remember if I've sharpened it or not. I don't think you have, but I mean, I'm not positive. Before the video, I did get together on the Spyderco page um, a little a little chart comparing it to 8CR 13 MOV and Frankie with that I wasn't I mean just just mm -hmm. on element composition it yeah. doesn't look like it would be a performer it's got less carbon mm -hmm. it, it's got half a percent more chromium yeah. and otherwise pretty similar yeah I, I just, exactly yeah it's a non-powdered steel okay so and it, it is a budget steel mm -hmm. Um, so I looked into it a little bit more, and Cedric and Ada, he's, uh, he's the YouTube steel guru. Yes, Pete over there. Yep, Pete from Down Under. Okay, he does have a video on this he did about a year ago. Now, granted, it was on a custom knife, but oh. he did his tests on that, mm -hmm. and it turned out pretty good. The steel, edge retention-wise, came out to be about the same as VG10. Yeah, VG10, that's right. Which is impressive. Mm -hmm. So for, is. for kind of a budget-minded steel, not bad. I believe the, the cuts... Um, just about doubled or more than doubled, maybe the 8CR 13 MOV. Mm -hmm. So it's a good steel. Yeah. Actually, and, and on that and one. And they use D2 a lot of times, so having that variation is good too. Yeah, I was going to say D2, and I think Ken does D2 as well. Yeah, this one was that, the 12C. 12C, yeah. Yeah. So, looks like steel wise, they're good to go. Mm hmm. Uh, best deck is, that is. But yeah, where are we at with this, Frankie? This, well, this knife, $52, they come in, I want to say it's like 12 different varieties. Yeah, you ran, you rounded up to a million, which was kind of, you know, what you do. It you like to round up, but still. <laughs> it was a lot. There's a lot of colors. There's 12 different colors, and then there was a couple different frame, not frame. There's a couple different blade colors, too. Yeah, well, they've got this satin finish, the all satin finish, and then they've got one with the black flats. Yeah, so right there is black. Which... You know, if I could do it again, that's the one I'd get. It have a little, and then they had one two-tone scale pattern. Yeah, it's blue and black, I believe. Yeah, I like yeah. that one. So tons of variety. That's that's good. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, G10. So check out the blade there. The blade stock thickness on the thinner side. Yeah. It's actually I've got the spec in my head right now. It's point one two. Let's see if it actually is. All right, let's just you know, check. see yeah. if they lie. 
No, they one, don't. One, two. <laughs> no, so it's kind of um, on the thinner side, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, full flat ground. Yep. So it slices nicely. Yeah, there is a choil on there, finger choil. It does work for my fingers, but I'd have to be a little bit careful if I was doing that yeah. kind of choke up type work. Kind of looks a little dangerous. For you. Not so much. Not so bad. Yeah. yeah. My hand fits good in it. Yeah, what do you think of the jimping on the top there? I like it. It just gives a little bit more grip. Yeah, to kind it. of a kind of a medium texture. Mm -hmm. Certainly not harsh by any means. Let's yeah. See if we can get a focus on there. And then the G10 backspacer too that just matches the handle. Yeah, I like that. And if we had more than one, we could do the Frankie trick of Ooh, swapping. swapping backspacers. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, we just got this one though. There it is. It's a liner lock. Good access to the liner. Yeah, it has a little bit of cutout, so it feels good. And actually, that's one of the things I think I said in the Kendo video. Mm -hmm. They're really good at, um, I don't know, they, 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 all their liner locks are very easy to actuctuate. You say that, and then I looked at this one, and I'm like, this one is not as much. Let me see. Which it's one? Very that one's thin, a spike? But yeah. But it's just not as much. You know, and there's no jimping on this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. And same with the Hornet, too. No, I like the Hornet. I, oh, jeez. Did I just you cut serious? you? Somebody was just saying today, we'll watch if it bleeds. Here, get your hand back there. Jeez. Oh, we'll watch if it bleeds. Did Somebody was just saying today, you? how come we cut each other so much this year? And I was saying, I don't know, it's been a while. I don't think. No. Ha! Barely. Somebody Barely. can slow motion that and see if I actually. No, I felt it. You felt it? I okay. don't need slow motion, I can tell you. I felt it. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Jeez. Good thing I didn't have a witness. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, back to where we were here. Okay. Okay, so where were we? Um, I believe all of the best tech knives are on bearings. Yeah. And they are smooth. I gotta say, honorable mention to this also, detent wise, mm -hmm. it's a lightweight little blade. Snappy yeah, detent. It is good. Snappy detent. Okay. Um, that's always a good combination when you have a stiff detent and a lightweight blade. Mm -hmm. And it, it actually has some sound to it, too. Yeah. It's light. Cannot shake it out. I mm -mm. did try. Well, and can you like half it? Half the no. boy. Oh, so what she's talking mm. about. Here, I'll be. Oh, I'll I let don't. You, I can't. I'll let you safely hand me the knife. Okay. What she's talking about is can you. Not open it. So can you just deploy it just enough to where it doesn't lock open? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Yeah, I can't. Try even lighter. Huh. There, I could. Oh, yeah, it's, it's okay. difficult though. Yeah. It really wants to fly out of there. It wants to fly out of there. Yeah. And so this Beluga is only right hand carry. Yeah, they have a torpedo knife that looks very similar to mm -hmm. this in size and everything. And that one, they have the left hand carry uh, yeah. ruination of the presentation <laughs> side. Uh, I didn't say it this time, guys. You heard it from him. No, sorry. They, they do have the torpedo version, which is very similar to this knife. We've not handled that one, though. Um, there's the clip. Eh, it's just basic, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Very simple. Good opening for a lanyard. Yeah, you could. I, it looks like you could even change out the um, the clip little lift with a different color. So if you had multiple of the same. Oh, weird. Okay, so you yeah. you could change out that color and then the backspacer. I didn't even think about that. So yeah, that'd it's, be cool. It's a G10. Um, G10. I say I can't even think of the word either. Uh, clip lifter? Prop. Yeah, clip <laughs> lifter. <laughs> that almost sounds dirty. All right. It does. 3.9. This is actually a thicker knife. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't qualify as a chode knife, but I will show you here. Uh, Let me just make sure. Yeah. 3.9, yeah. 3.90. Uh, we, we can show you here. Look at that. Oh, it's not as much as I thought, but it is over half inch. Does it feel thicker than it is? It's it's girthier. Usually when you have knives three inches and less, they're just, they're not as thick. It's but like this, the Atmos. I mean, this thing thin. is super thin. Yeah, we got a variety of knives out Point on the table. Point four two. Atmos is 30 bucks. Here you go, you can do a little size comparison. 0.41. This is a good knife too, but it's 8CR13 MOV. And then the Amarillo too. What is that knife called? Amarillo. Okay, what is it's that knife right. called? Amar Armadillo? No. What am I supposed to call it? There's multiple names, but we're at something new now. I don't know, I thought you would have remembered. <laughs> Take it in the brown. Oh, jeez. I did not remember take it in the brown. Sorry. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that out of context. Okay. <laughs> this one is a, is a very good competitor to this right now. Blade steel wise. I'd have to look into that one more um, to compare the two. But yeah, very good deal on these Tangram. Tangram and Marios. Um, Frankie, what else do you have? The CRKT. There's another 
8 CR 13 MOV, but you can mm -hmm. get these for 25 bucks, so less than half the cost. Yeah. So, you know, where's it your budget at? depends on what you want. How much do you care about that edge retention? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'd say the Beluga fits right in with the Kendo, the Spike. We gave away the Paladin, which was a cool uh, one. Uh, yeah, why did you do that? Yeah. We were talking about Wii knives earlier. So the Civibis, there's the Praxis. Um, here's the Naja. But me being me, what I don't like about the Civivis right now is that they're all too big. That's what I was going to say. That's not what she said, but that's, Best it's tech, true. Best Tech has got that going for them. They, they do a wide variety of size ranges. Mm -hmm. Civivis, so far anyway, kind of just does all the same size knife. Yep. But that is potentially the biggest competitor, though. Mm -hmm. Well, and if you need that sub three inches, I mean, you, you can't do it with Civivi, so. No. Um, it's a good knife. I think... I think it's a good solid user given yeah. the size. It's a little smaller, but then sometimes those those thicker handles mm -hmm. they just work for you. When you actually go to cut with them, they work really well for you. Yeah. 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 It's a good knife for sure. You like it. You're doing well for the fifty-two dollars that you're gonna spend. Mm -hmm. We'll put links into Blade HQ where you where you can get them and check out all the different colors. Colors and options and yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, that's the beluga. Mm -hmm. And Frankie's weird song. All right. It's not. It's not like I just made it up. Okay, I know. I, it's okay. Just, it's just over my head. I'm not. You guys with make that one. comments. You know what I'm talking about. You right, learned it in so. like school. Whatever. All right. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye. Don't mind Gilbert. He's just gonna be watching. <laughs>